So we just talked about how much left hand we're going to use. Now let's go through the stance, what the stance looks like. You got that great footwork again, that great shoulder turn, the knee bend, the athletic stance that's going to help you get the power. So you got the knee bend. This is the load position. I have a lot of my weight on that back foot, the load position. You get ready, judge the, where you're going to strike the ball, and that left foot is going to be give you nice spacing. You load on that left foot so that you can then propel yourself forward into the court and give you good weight on that shot. So that left foot, you load here, get below the ball, come through, contact point even with the right hip, using that left hand to direct through the point of contact. This would be down the line, so you stay down a little bit longer and then you come across. This would be cross court, stay down through it a little bit longer and then you come across. Now where do you follow through on the backhand? Arms are nice and relaxed, not stiff because you want that good racket head speed. Nice and relaxed and then you come through and you're following through over your right shoulder if you're a righty. You can see the butt of the racket head when you're finished. When you're done, if somebody were hitting you ball after ball, say out of a bucket of balls, you should be able to be on balance like this and your knees flexed a little bit, again, for that athletic position. If I have my legs completely straight, I can't use this hip to turn and to get some power. So I need to be able to keep those legs bent and use the hip to get a lot of the power and the arms come through as well. So everything comes through at the same time and that's critical. You don't want this to come through and then the racket to lag behind or the racket to come through and then you're turning your hips. The hips, the shoulders, and the racket have to come through at the same time to get that perfect backhand. So now I'm going to hit a few of my favorite shots, the two-handed backhand. Good footwork, shoulder turn, racket head speed. So really letting that racket head go to get the power. And out in front. Now this shot was my all-time favorite, that backhand down the line. You get in that cross-court rally with your opponent, then boom, hit it up the line for a winner. Now I want to show you something that helps me visualize how to drive through the ball and not come across too soon. So I like to think of hitting through these four balls lengthy and particularly pushing through with my left hand in the direction of where I want to be aiming and then coming across. Because again, I think there are too many players that see Nadal finishing up quickly around his shoulder and they don't drive through enough. They don't realize that Nadal has so much racket head speed that he is driving through it first before he comes around. If you come around too quickly, your ball's going to start landing short and you're going to be doing an awful lot of running and it's going to make for a long day. Why not have you drive through the ball deep into the court and you dictating the points? Now I hit a two-handed backhand, but a one-handed backhand is awesome as well. I'm going to show you a little bit of what's important with the one-hander and why they're different. The one-hander, very similar to the two-hander in that you've got to get that racket back nice and early, you've got to get that great shoulder turn. So if your opponent can almost see a couple of letters if your last name were on the back of your shirt. So you've got that great shoulder turn. This is where it becomes different, where the left hand doesn't come around. So as a two-hander, I'm really facing forward, my belly button's facing forward when I'm done, whereas the one-hander, I'm still driving through those four balls, that racket towards my target, but my left hand is staying back and my belly button is facing this way. So that's really what's different about the one-hander, but I'm still using the same mechanics with the great knee bend and coming through with my hip here to get power.